possible. Now this week, for my trouble, uh, the ABC decided to hit back. Now, did they ask me to come on Q&A to talk about my criticisms of the ABC? No, they didn't do that. A, a radio interview at one of their 60 radio stations to talk about the ABC and ABC bias? No. Did they uh, ask me to go on their, one of their many online sites and write a piece about ABC bias or the challenges of ABC funding? No. Instead, one of their comedy shows, The Hamster Decides, decided to do something with me which I won't show you. It's too offensive to put to air, but they put it to air at your expense, your taxes. A picture of me, there's no polite way to say it, of me, a doctored picture, something fabricated, of me up a dog. Literally up a dog. This was supposed to be funny. I think it's quite extraordinary and it kind of just proves my point. If my point is that the ABC lacks accountability, doesn't give us value for money, always attacks targets on the right, never attacks the left, there's your case in point. I've challenged them over their funding and bias. They show me up a dog. Look, they've had their fun with me. I take their point and I will never criticise the ABC again. They have now silenced me. I'm only joking, of course, I'll keep criticising the ABC. It'll be fun to see what they do next. What can they do next? They've defamed me, they've shown me up a dog. What will they do next? Well, next time I criticise the ABC. We'll see. Keep watching. Now watch Sky and I'll let you know what they do on the ABC next.